So for today, we're going to be going back to the exotic videos. If you guys don't know, if you guys are brand new, welcome. This is me, Fix Tony. We cover a lot of fashion in the game and we usually cover exotic videos. Specifically, people will ask for like their favorite exotic to be showcased in a fashion video. And these are those videos. For, for this one, we got asked for Celestial Nighthawk, which is super dope. I appreciate the comment. And again, if you guys want to see your own exotic video, make sure I haven't made the video yet because I want to go through all of the exotics in the game first. And then we'll go back into like a round two type thing where we go back and make an armor set with uh, different pieces and sets and whatnot. So again, uh, I have all of my videos specifically for the Titan Warlock and Hunter. They have their own playlists where you can see all of the stuff that I've done for them. So if you are specifically just looking for a Hunter, Titan or Warlock, I have them right there and you guys can just go through it all because I do have a lot of content for all the classes. So for this one, again, Celestial Nighthawk, we're going to be looking at how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts. We're also going to be looking at what it actually does as well. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it. Other than that, let's look at what this does. So to start off, the Celestial Nighthawk's perk is called Hawkeye Hack. Modifies Golden Gun to fire a single high damage shot and enemies eliminated by the shot explode and grant you super energy. So it's pretty cool. Um, this used to be meta at one point in time, but unfortunately it's just not that good right now. There's other exotics that do this way better, specifically the fish pants, which I have done a review for. You guys can check it out right here. I will remake that video because the ornament, I, just, I finally got the ornament and I want to make a, a set with that. But yeah, it's, it's fine. Like it's not trash. It's just like, why would you use this when you can use, I don't know the fish pants you could use specifically the fish pants with either a blade barrage or the arc super the one where you throw the javelin thing that's super dope as well or you could use a void with quiver which is the three shots and the pants that give you an extra shot i forget what they're called um orpheus rig you could use you could just do that there's so many different options for dps for hunters that celestial is not only just a unfortunately not good but it also is really easy to whiff so that's kind of like another unfortunate thing where it's like you only have one shot so if you miss it you're kind of fucked and most of the time uh which i think is really funny when the it grants you super energy when the enemy is eliminated it's kind of useless considering you're usually going to use this for boss damage so you will never see that super energy come back and you're not going to use this against like for example a red bar and i wouldn't even use my super for like a yellow bar or an orange bar maybe an orange bar if he's being really really annoying but again it's just kind of useless when you really just use this for boss damage if it said like against a boss you gain a certain amount of damage i think that would have been fine celestial just needs a, a boost uh, i don't know it's just kind of useless right now let me know what you guys think as for how it looks, I think Celestial is an iconic look. I, For me personally, when I think of Destiny 2 Hunter, I think Celestial Nighthawk and like maybe another exotic. And for me, Celestial Nighthawk is the exotic I think of. And unfortunately, the example set might uh, disappoint some people, especially if they have their own version of Celestial Nighthawk fashion. For me, when I think of Celestial Nighthawk, I think of Hunter, which is probably a hint of what the example set will look like but again i think it's really really cool the only unfortunate part is the fact that when it comes to shadering uh it's probably not one of the worst because i've seen way worse but just remember that the red lines on the eyes do not change color and the white on the sides don't change color as well the other thing is the fact that the whites on the front of the helmet like the dots are not the dot but like the, the one in the forehead, whatever it's called, the fucking um, dots, ah, uh, not dots, the lines, there we go, the lines of, of like the squares do not change color as well. Other than that, the whole faceplate will change color, hopefully I've been showing you shaders right now, but it is really unfortunate because this helmet is super, super dope, and just the fact that it doesn't shader well is not helping at all. To be fair, you can do some really cool things, specifically like Cryptic Insignia looks really, really cool with it, personally, I really like it. Uh, you could also double down with red with echo anger but i do think it's problematic considering the red on the lines on the eyes specifically uh are not the same red as echo anger and to find that same red is going to be a bitch so at this point i would probably just combine it with like a black or a white so that way you can just kind of ignore that all like total as for the example set i ended up going with a classic hunter look all black as well because of course i'm a hunter that's how we be 
for the helmet obviously celestial night heart for the arms iron companion sleeves uh let me explain my thought process here i was going for an og hunter look so a lot of the pieces are from destiny one or destiny one inspired which is uh the cloak is destiny one inspired considering that the cloak is actually from uh the six coyotes i think it's six coyote cloak or something like that it someone corrected me in a video previous and i appreciate it it's it's from no shader or it's from no cloak from destiny one and i really really like it which is why i'm using it because it's from destiny one technically technically very 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 technically but chess piece also from destiny one wildwood strides is the only one that is from destiny two but to be fair i didn't want to use like another iron companion sleeve or prodigal uh piece because uh if you guys know me i don't like to use more than one uh, one piece in a set but also because i'm not the biggest fan of how iron companion uh boots shader they shader really really fucking annoyingly and then the prodigal vest i don't like the boots i think they're cool i just don't like them uh in a lot of sets so I thought the Wildwood Strides would be the best choice because I, it, I do think it's the best choice. To be fair though, I could have probably just put the Trials uh, of Osiris boots from the OG ar armor and I think that would have been fine. But I didn't want to like do too much with this because again, for Celestial Nighthawk, specifically the like just default look, I always just go for like the default Hunter look. If you like, if you can think of a Hunter look, that's the look I would go for for Celestial Nighthawk. So. I do apologize if you're expecting like a lot more bird inspired stuff. I have made a set. I'll show you a picture right now of that set. And it's not bad. It's just when I think of Celestial, I think of Hunter, uh, like classic Hunter Destiny 1 look. And that's why I have some of the pieces that I have. But to be fair, I would probably switch out a few, like probably just the arms for like something a little bit more Hunter-esque. But other than that, yeah, let me know what you guys think. So Celestial Nighthawk actually has three ornaments. So this video might be longer than most, but just bear with me because I think some of these are really, really good. Aside from this one, Victorian Silver Hawk, I think is terrible. I think it's one of the worst. It's ah, there's so many things wrong with it, in my opinion. It's, it's the fact that like it just looks like not terrifying, but like crappy. But also it could be terrifying if you make a set with it. As for how it shaders, uh kind of the same problem that celestial nighthawk the default look has the fact that the yellow on the eyes don't change color uh specifically like the lines on the eyes and the blue on the side as well doesn't change color which is really unfortunate because uh i think this could have looked cool if it did change color but yeah it, it doesn't change color uh i'll show you all the shaders right now But for the example set, I ended up going for something a little bit more terrifying for this because I just didn't want to make anything too bougie with this one because I think the next one deserves the bougie look. So for this one, I am using the Victorian Silverhawk, obviously, but for the arms, Lightkin Grips is an easy choice because I want a little bit of further. And I also like the tangled uh, arms. I think that looked really cool as well. For the chest piece wing contender, I like the the bumps on the stomach. I think that's really, really cool. And then for the boots, shadow strides, I think is also a good choice because of the claws on the boots. And then Scarin Corvus cloak, I think really pulls all of this together because it kind of hides the eyes, which I think is the biggest problem from this helmet. I think the eyes are just goofy. But then when you see the mouth, I think that's when it re gets really, really creepy because you have that smile. So. This one was an easy choice for the shader descendant vex chrome is an easy choice because it gives you that like rustic or like literal literal rust look and yeah i just wanted to do something cool with this because i just did not want to do anything like over the top with this one because i hate the eyes and i was like trying to think like what what cloak is there that just covers the eyes because i don't want to see the eyes and i remembered that scaring corvus actually covers like a side of the face and in this way, it actually looks a lot more terrifying, especially when you have your super because the eyes actually do glow. And at that point, you actually look like like almost like a murderer, like like this dude's just going to be like running towards you with his one eye glow. So I think that's really, really cool. As for the next ornament, it's called Hrafna Good. I think this ornament looks super, super cool. I still don't know what this is referenced towards. I was supposed to look it up before I made this video but it looks super cool i really really like it almost reminds me of um 
maybe that could probably be a crow head maybe but i always thought it was like a hummingbird type shit because it looked cool like that but i definitely like this ornament i when i first saw this one i immediately picked it up because i was like dude this looks amazing looks super super dope and i'm happy i did because yeah it looks really cool i just can't really explain too much about it as for how it shaders it actually shaders really really well uh the only thing that i'm noticing is the fact that the white line on the actual helmet specifically the ones that go on the eyes not the not the bottom of the eye but the lines actually don't change color which is kind of unfortunate considering it's not it's not the biggest deal to, i'm gonna be real with you guys i it's it's not it's not worse than the other ones because the other ones actually not only didn't change colors but it actually had different colors to it white is a much easier color to like manage around so it's not that big a deal but the really cool thing about this one is the eyes are already glowing so that's super super cool the other cool thing i guess is the fact that you have like another eye on the middle which is cool i think some people might not like that i think it's pretty cool as for how it shaders i think it shaded really really cool i should have been showing you how it shaded already but i definitely think it shaders really well as for the example set i am going for a bougie look kind of because i think this helmet just looks bougie to me and for the arms, we're going to be using Virtuous Grips with the Tekken's Regalia Vest. I think these two pair really well together. And then Nemean Strides for the boots. And then Starfarer's Cloak for the cloak. I uh, never really used Starfarer's Cloak. But the reason I'm using it for this one is because the helmet actually has like a really big point, obviously. And I wanted a little bit more pointiness in this. And that way, and that way Starfarer's Cloak immediately came to mind because you have a whole ass crown in the back of your uh, back. So that's why I'm using it. For the shader, Whispered Sheen was not an easy choice because that wasn't my first choice, but I, it was a choice that I went with because I like the wood look and I also love, love this shader. I think the shader is amazing. I did review this shader. If you guys are interested, I'll have it up right now. Uh, we go. This is probably my more in-depth video because we actually go a lot more deeper than the usual shader videos. Uh, just because I, at that time, I was like, I want to make it super detailed, but didn't realize just how much time that would take so that's why i don't do those videos like that anymore but uh, i did make another set technically it's from the victorian silverhawk i just ended up switching these the victorian silverhawk with the hrafna good and i think it looks cool i think it looks very fucking menacing and it literally is just a ornament change that's really it i love the fact that one of the eyes is glowing so that way you can actually it looks so much more intimidating when the one eye is glowing so just to just to show you that real quick and then last but not least we have the cathardi filigree this is such a cool ornament i originally was kind of clowning on it because i was like this looks okay it doesn't look that good but then it started to grow on me and i i'm, I'm in love with this this ornament i think this ornament is super super cool granted i still think the base look of celestial nighthawk is the best i think it's just super dope but again, I just, I just think this looks cool. Let's just look at how it shaders. So for how it shaders, I think it's really, really cool. This is the best ornament when it comes to shadering because every single piece of this helmet changes color. There's no exception. The like cool engraving on the sides change color. The eyes even change color, the glow specifically, everything changes color. So if you're looking for a Celestial Nighthawk ornament that changes color, this is gonna be the ornament you're gonna be looking for. Now, granted, it might not be to everyone's taste because it is kind of weird looking specifically it's supposed to be a crow not crow it's supposed to be a um what's it called a vulture look because cathardi that's what that means or at least a species of that if i remember correctly it's pretty cool i think it looks cool and the example set is definitely super dope uh which let's just get into it the example set you guys may have seen this in two videos specifically the one from actually three videos technically because I ended up using it for my raid example set, which I'll have it up right now for the hunters, and then the and the unyielding favor set, which I'll have up right now. Uh, the other video is actually not mine; it's from Muffin Bandits. He made a video for it as well for the all of the raid armor sets, and I was actually in that video as well. So I'll have that one up at right now as well, so you guys can check that one out because it is really cool he shows other people's fashion which are super dope i highly suggest that video because it's super cool but for this one 
the Cathar Die filigree helmet is super dope with all of this because I kind of ended up going with like an evil villain look. And for the arms, the raid armor set grips of trepidation. I think they're really cool. It's just the fact that they are coated as leather. So just be aware of that this is not plate armor. This is leather armor. For the chest piece, Resonant Fury vest was a choice I made because I wanted to have the Fury's chest has this uh, like little jacket on the sides. And I wanted to make it seem like my arms are connected to that vest. So that way it's like, it looks like you're wearing a whole vest, which is kind of the whole point. And then the boots catch killer strides was a choice because I wanted not only a bunch of white for the boots, because it was almost like a taken look where the there's like white at the bottom and then it, it gradually turns into black. But instead of gradually, I just wanted like that, that like distinction of this is where the white ends and the black starts. And then for the cloak, the the unyielding favor cloak was a choice because uh, this was a originally I made this with the unyielding favor set in mind, and that's why I'm using that cloak. But even then, I still think this cloak is amazing. I would probably just try to find a shader that's better for the cloak because I would like an all black look. And this one has like a little bit of gray in there as well. So this one's probably my favorite set just because uh, it's super dope. Uh, there's just it's just. Yeah, it's one of my favorite sets that I've made with Celestial Nighthawk. And I have made a few sets that I'm like, oh, this was amazing. But like for me, this one is just like almost my best set that I've ever made with Celestial, I guess. So let me know what you guys think. Which one is your favorite ornament? Let me know in the comments below. I definitely think the Cathar Dive filigree is really, really good. And it's probably the best for shadering just because, again, like I said, it uh, just takes everything really, really well. Like there's no there's no color that doesn't change color, which is like one of my favorite things about this. So again, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Again, if you guys want to see a certain exotic armor set or anything like that, let me know in the comments below and hopefully I'll get started on that video. Other than that, be safe and I will see you guys later.